Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Danielle. Hello. I'm going to be filming a video today that I think we all need. Um, I'm really trying to use my platform to spread positivity and safety all at the same time. It's a weird time in the world right now. It is something that I don't think any of us could have predicted. It's very, very weird feeling. You constantly have this like pit in your stomach. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, if you guys are wondering, I go to UGA and as of now, our classes are suspended for two weeks and then they're going to decide further from there. I feel like things are changing every day and it's like, oh, so exciting. We have an extended spring break because I was on spring break and then I just get to stay home longer. But it's also this weird feeling of like, but I feel like I can't do things or I feel like I shouldn't be having fun. It's a, it's a very, very weird time right now and it's very important to practice social distancing. I've been really reading up on it. My parents have been educating me on it and you know, just to like be in places where you can stay six feet away from people and not giving people as many hugs, more you know of these instead of these. Washing your hands for 20 seconds, you guys know the drill. But with all of this, I've been going crazy because you guys know I'm like a gal on the go. I love to just be doing things constantly. And I definitely had a breakdown. I, um, I definitely have been having trouble kind of being at peace with all of this. And I'm so thankful that I live in a place like Florida where it's so beautiful outside and I can enjoy the outdoors. Um, and I know a lot of you guys might be in colder places or you might be at home and you have nothing to do or whatever it may be so i was talking with my dad and i wanted to film a video kind of with ideas of things to do while you're home from school i know a lot of you guys have you know online classes till the rest of the semester which is crazy i mean who knows what uga is going to decide i have no idea um some of you guys just are home for a couple weeks no one really knows what's up and we're all getting really bored <laughs> and i thought i just came up with a list with my dad of some things that you can do that are practicing social distancing but still like maybe really entertaining for you and just things to do when you're at home bored because you're stuck at home from college or whatever it may be or from high school i know a lot of high schools have canceled as well definitely let me know in the comments below it's like a weird time right now to make videos i i feel i i feel i'm not really sure what videos to film so i'm just the biggest thing i can do is spread positivity that's just what I'm gonna try and do and I hope you guys are okay with that. And obviously I know a lot of this is focused on people that are in college right now that are home with their families. I understand that people still have jobs and they still have to go work. I'm just trying to help those people that are really bored and kind of losing hope because there's times where I just get really anxious and really sad about it all and then I'm really trying to find the positives. I understand this is a super situation but we all deserve to still like enjoy our lives. So I've got a list. Let's get through them. Number one, ride your bike. Um, I have a bike and I love riding it around. Um, even just like riding it around your neighborhood, especially if you're alone, I mean, use Clorox wipes on your bike, obviously. But I mean, even if it's just going for a bike ride around your neighborhood, it's really, really good to get fresh air. I think a big tip in all this is being outside is so great for you right now um, because obviously you're further away from people you're not like in a tight packed room with a ton of people and going for a bike ride you're getting a workout in it's enjoyable it's something to do and the wind's blowing in your face and it's just good vibes all around number two is go for a hike this was my dad's idea i loved it especially if you're going on a hike there's not a lot of people um you're in nature nature is so good for you it's you know really revitalizing and the, allow that it maybe we should allow this time to let us kind of become more one with nature go for a hike at sunset but make sure to bring a flashlight because on the way back it gets dark um yeah i don't really live in a place where i can go for a hike florida is very flat but if you do live in a place start exploring you know more nature trails um there's not you're not like touching as many things so it's kind of better for you next um idea is this definitely has to do with technology but it's something i've been doing <laughs> Which I never thought I'd say I've been doing learn some TikTok dances and just have some fun You know like I love to dance and TikTok has been kind of fun for me because there's all those fun dances like mm, Wait, what has it go renegade? Mm, wait, do I don't know. It's just kind of fun fun and something to do I mean, I know it's like not amazing to just like be on technology more But dancing is kind of a workout and it's really fun. Like just go on TikTok. They have a ton of dancing tutorials By the end of all this you will know so many dances to do when you're at the club, you know oons, oons. But yeah, I think just like learning um, TikTok dances is something fun to do because those take me literally hours to learn Especially some of the harder ones like I really want to learn that one. It's like Da, 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 da. but that's so many movements and it takes so much time but we have a lot of time on our hands right now so 
yeah i don't know that's something to do it's fun it puts you in a good mood i think it's really important i saw this thing on instagram and i'll just read it to you guys really quickly because i think with social distancing it can lead to isolation which is kind of freaky so there's things that you should keep in mind and it says conversations will not be canceled relationships will not be canceled love will not be canceled songs will not be canceled reading will not be canceled self-care will not be canceled and hope will not be canceled may we lean into the good stuff that remains and i just love that because it's been freaking me out it's so crazy like there are still things that we can indulge in that are practicing to social distancing like you can facetime a friend there is no harm there listening to music like i was saying with the tiktok like making dances like music still exists you still have your phone you still can play music you can still listen to the radio as of now and music for me is so healing and just like i was just sitting out in the backyard with my dad listening to country music and looking outside and like i haven't done that in so long just sat out back and listened to country music with my dad like it's kind of you know allow this to be an excuse to just kind of relax. I'm just really trying to think of the positives because your girl is going crazy. My next tip is um, something that probably a lot of you are already doing, but something I'm really excited about is watch movies. Oh my gosh, there are so many movies that throughout the years people were like, oh, you have to see this, you have to see, I have a list of movies that I need to watch and I'm just not a big movie watcher. I like, like to just watch TV shows while I'm like doing other things. And so now's a great time to watch movies, watch them with your family, you know, like watch a funny comedy and drink a little wine if you want. Like, I don't know, I think um, there's still a chance to have fun and like watch movies and just, you don't have to feel guilty about sitting and watching Netflix. Like it's honestly good to just be at home watching movies. My next tip is if you have the capabilities, but make a bonfire. Bonfires are so fun. They're a great relaxing thing. Again, just to do in your backyard. This is all just to avoid kind of like going out in public as much. Um, just like putting, you know, getting some logs. Maybe you have a friend that was a, an Eagle Scout. Ryan's an Eagle Scout. So I'm always like, Ryan, build a fire. <laughs> just like having a bonfire, making some s'mores. That's something I think that people don't always think to do all the time anymore. Just like a good old campfire is good bet. If you live somewhere that's warm, work on your tan in your backyard. I was telling my friends, I was like, I'm going to be so tan after all this because all I've been doing is like laying outside and just like being in the sun and being by the pool. And I'm obviously very thankful that I do, you know, live in Florida once again and I have, you know, but a lot of places are kind of starting to warm up right now. I have friends that just have been like tanning in their front yard, whatever it is, just lay out a towel and lay there, listen to some music podcasts, listen to Gals on the Go. We're still recording the podcast um, and just work on that tan, you know. Next up, fitness. Um, I'm not, I obviously you guys know I'm a spin instructor and I love going to spin. I'm definitely minimizing the amount of times I'm going to the gym or spin studios right now. Um, I know some, like a lot of spin studios are doing where you don't, like not all the bikes are able to be signed up for. They're just doing like every other bike. Um, I know Pure Velo, they're getting rid of weight. So we're just using our towels, different things like that. Obviously I'm not in Athens right now. So I am not even able to go to Pure Velo. Um, it's definitely better to not be going out to like public places right now, but also do know that these spin studios, in particular Prevello, is taking lots of initiative um, to make sure that everything is really clean because obviously their customers are so important to them. So I feel safe and fine, um, but if you don't feel comfortable going to workout classes right now, I totally get it. Just do like a good old workout out back. There's so many apps like Open Fit and like a ton of random things that give you workout ideas. Um, if you have a Peloton, now's a great time to take advantage of that. Just go out back, do some jumping jacks, cartwheels, just like play around, have some fun. Like allow this time to like focus on your fitness. Maybe you've always wanted to work on, become a runner. I don't think I'll ever become a runner. I hate going for runs. But if that's something you've been wanting to pick up, do that. Just like go for a run in your neighborhood in the morning. But I think like going for runs and doing things outside and just kind of focusing on fitness, like do some core workouts, like you have the time. I kind of mentioned this before, but FaceTime friends. There is no reason we shouldn't be talking to our friends still. Like, I know it's really hard. I feel so bad for people that are freshmen in college right now because they were just starting to, you know, make friends in college and now it's all like, we're all like away from each other. FaceTime, group FaceTimes. There's an app called House Party. My friends and I used to use all the time. Well, I guess now group FaceTime exists, I think. And like Snapchat has a, something you could do. FaceTime people. It's still so important to have interactions with people. We shouldn't just be all isolating and just like in our bed and not talking to anyone. Like it's okay to FaceTime someone. That is so sanitary. It's so okay. And um, I've been calling people way more than I ever have. Like my phone, I'm usually more of a texter, but I've just been calling people. I've been wanting to have communication by wanting to talk to people more. And um, that is something that can always boost your mood. And it's just like kind of nice to know that we're all kind of in this together. We're all at our respective homes right now 
and yeah we should just be thankful that we have a home to be at right now during this time and lastly um this is something i'm gonna be doing but um I want to start reading again. There are so many books that I never finished or that I wanted to start and I literally just didn't have time because I was writing for school. Obviously at UGA right now, we don't even have online classes for two weeks. Um, we're obviously going to have some sort of class soon, I'm hoping. So, but during this time, I'm going to start reading and just, you know, doing things that I didn't necessarily have time for when I had school. Um, because I don't know, it's just so important to make the best of it and it's kind of nice to read books because it kind of takes you out of reality for a second, kind of distracts you. So. But yeah, those are all the tips I came up with. I hope this video gave you some sort of inspiration, some sort of light, some sort of motivation, some sort of, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I know how I've been feeling. So you guys must be feeling some sort of way as well. And I just love you guys so much. And I care about you guys and I care about our world. And I just hope that all of these precautions we are taking are for the better good. I know they are. And I know that we're all going to be okay in the long run. We just need to be extra careful right now. And I'm so thankful for, you know, living in the United States and all of us being so protected and so thankful. And that's just something that we all need to remind ourselves of. And for the people that live abroad, I am thinking of you dearly, especially in certain countries that are being affected. My heart is with you guys. And I know that I'm not like trying to complain at all. I'm just trying to make the best of my situation and I hope you guys are too. So I love you guys so much. This video is kind of scary to post, but I really wanted to because I just knew that it would help maybe a couple people. If you guys ever want to talk to me, reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, I'll be there. Follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn, I think it is, because um, I've been having fun with it. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys, bye.